Over 400 raids by Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, against an oil tank farm in Belgorod have been repelled with the help of the Yenot radar since February 1, 2023. The head of the developer company JSC Scientific and Production Center Electronic Computing and Information Systems Boris Chernoyarsky has said, Since February 1st our radar has been up and running at the oil tank farm in Belgorod. To date, more than 400 raids have been deflected. Over the six months there has not been a single raid on that territory. All were prevented. Chernoyarsky told a conference entitled Perimeter Defense Technologies for Industrial, Oil and Gas and Fuel and Energy Facilities. Modern Technologies of UAV Detection and Suppression He also said that the Elvis Company's systems of UAV suppression were being successfully used at two apps facilities on the Black Sea. Since December 10, 2022, two of our complexes have been installed in two apps. By now they have thwarted more than 400 different raids, including 16 confirmed by the Defense Ministry, Roguevardia and other security agencies. Among them was a raid successfully repelled with the use of the UAV Strish. Many raids were prevented during the May holidays and in recent days, Chernoyarsky added. He mentioned some of his company's major customers, such as Gazpromneft, Rosneft, the Defense Ministry and the Federal Protection Service FSO. Test operation of our equipment is in progress at 13 airports across Russia. It has already proved reliable, Chernoyarsky emphasized. The Yenot radar is designed for automatic detection of small and ultra-small class unmanned aerial vehicles with takeoff weights starting from 250 grams. The radar is designed to monitor the situation within a radius of several kilometers and search for ground-based aerial or surface targets. On the other hand, the new SERP VS-5 anti-drone system has also passed tests and is ready for supplies, Andrei Sorokin, deputy CEO for business development at the Vector Research Institute, part of Rus Electronics Group within the state tech corporation Rostec, told TASS on Thursday. All the tests are over. The system is ready for supplies under orders and currently work is underway to agree upon the delivery timeframe. Orders for the new system are already available, the executive said. The SERP VS-5 has the capability to detect intruder drones across 360 degrees within a 5 km range. It can also split the observation angle into sectors with independent modes of operation to employ other drones, if necessary, during the system's work. The development of the system comes immediately after another unsuccessful drone attack near the capital Moscow, the third such in the last three months inside Russian territory. Ukraine launches such drones on critical targets inside Russian cities amid a war that has gone on for more than a year and might continue for another few. According to a report in TASS, the product was tested between 2021 and 2023. It was first introduced in the Army 2022 exhibition indicating it was developed in response to the ongoing conflict and is considered to have a potential for exports.
This is where the new radar system comes in handy, as it can detect such UAVs and terminate such attacks. The TASS report added that it could detect flying objects at ranges between 400 meters to 80 kilometers. Small aircraft can be caught in its radar at a distance of 30 kilometers, and medium-sized drones like the Orlan 10 at 18 kilometers. Lastly, it can pick up small drones when they are 7 kilometers. It is most likely to detect a target when it is flying at a speed of 270 meters a second. This can ease the pressure off Russian military radars and EU systems presently guarding Moscow, making more of them available for the front. This would be the opposite of Ukraine's plan behind the strikes on Moscow, which Russian analysts believed was to force Russia to pull its air defense AD, from the front lines and deploy them in its cities. Such a move would clear the way for Ukrainian drone strikes on Russian positions in Donbass. The SKVP can simultaneously track up to 20 aircraft, including small drones, determining their type, flight altitude, and distance to the UAV. This means it is capable of tracking UAV swarms. It consists of radar stations with a fixed-phased antenna array mounted on tripods and mobile vehicles and the roofs of high-rise buildings. There can be up to 24 such units in an air defense network, which would be sufficient to secure at least key locations in Moscow. As production scales up, the units could be sent to other Russian cities that host critical oil and gas infrastructure. It can be assumed that the SKVP must have been designed to be linked with other systems like the short-range close-in and point-defense Panzer S-gun missile hybrid anti-aircraft system, which guards Moscow. Following the May 30th attacks, the Russian Ministry of Defense, Ramad, claimed the Panzer S shot down five of the drones. It is unclear if frontline units might use the system in the war. But a few formations will undoubtedly employ the drone-detecting radar based on their need and to generate more on-ground feedback for the manufacturers.